first thing you need when setting up the media services is a storage account. You can create the storage account yourself, but in this case, I'm just going to create one, um, not as part of the uh, as part of the steps, but just have it pre-created. But just bear in mind that you can create one as it's going along, you know, as you go through the media services uh, steps. So you don't have to actually uh, pre-create one. But in this case, I'm pre-creating it. I'm building an app called Streamwise. I'm, it's just a demo that I'm using for the for this purpose. Okay. Right. And um, everything is going to be standard, local. This is just for a demo, but you probably want that to be globally redundant depending on what you're trying to do with your streaming service. Validation has passed, so I should be all set. So I'm just going to let this complete. All right, so the storage account has been created. So we can go to the resource, just make sure it's there. So it's all there. So let's go back to media services. And now we basically want to create our media service and reference that storage account um, that we just created. So I'm going to go in here. We want to use the same resource group. So media service account. That's just a name of convention I'm using. You can call it whatever you want. And then you have to set up a managed identity. Okay. There we go. And so do that. I'm not going to tag it or anything like that. And I'm just going to start creating my media services. So the resources already set up. So I talked to air off there. Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to take your assets and you want to move them to, uh, you know, to the cloud. So I'm going to be using this asset here. Stackable drills, where you will find a library of dozens and dozens of one minute belly dance drills. These drills are customizable to create your own practice playlists. We all know that drilling isolations is a fun. Okay, so we've seen how that plays. And so let's go ahead and let's go to assets. And we're going to upload and we're actually going to add that file. So here it is. Next intro. And let's, give it, let's get rid of all this probably gook. Just give it a basic file name. So this uploads it. Um, so it looks like this is completed now. So we have this file. So let's go ahead and let's um, add a streaming locator here. And we're going to say for clear streaming only. So we'll call it locator one. And you'll see here that when you create that locator, nothing is happening. Why is nothing happening? Because um, the endpoint um, doesn't, well, it's right now saying that the endpoint hasn't started, but that is gonna be another problem. So let's actually go ahead and let's start the endpoint. So streaming endpoints. I'm gonna start this guy. Standard. Here we go. All right, the endpoint is started. I'm gonna add a job and start that process to show you the next thing that you do. So once you have your assets uploaded to the cloud, Next thing you want to do is you want to convert your asset into an asset that can be streamed because the standard assets cannot be streamed, right? So I'm going to do that in a second, but I do want to show you what I'm talking about when I say the standard assets cannot be streamed. So let's go ahead and say clear streaming only. And 
right? As you can see, it's still not working, right? Your asset is either empty or not compatible for streaming. Please check asset, right? So what's wrong here? Um, the Our file has not been encoded, right? And if I were to, for example, add another streaming locator and say in this case, it was clear and download, right? As you can see, it shows up here. And if I go into this clear and download for all the streaming URLs, there is nothing for the download URL. There it is. I can copy this and I can go to any browser and there it goes, it plays, right? And um, you can also go to the Azure Media Player and update the player. And there you have it, it plays, right? So, so the moral of the story here is that Basically, the basic file, as you see it, does not stream, right? It, it will not stream. So in order to stream, we have to add a job. And we're going to, I'm going to use an existing one, but I just want to show you um, what you can do. So you set the, the encoding. There's a couple of things you can do with the jobs, you know, face detection, everything. I, I honestly have not played around with these. I've focused on just getting the file fully encoded. So you get the file encoded and you have a lot of presets. I found the multi-bit rate 1080p to be the most reliable and work for me. Um, so anything you create here, any transformation you create, any new one will be named so you can just reuse it later on. Um, so I'm gonna just reuse one, oops. I guess I forgot that. Um, this is a new instance and not an old one. So I'm gonna call it MBR. MBR, what, um, MBR? Okay. MBR 1080p. Okay, so this is basically um, um, a multi-bit rate 1080p. So over here, I'm gonna select it. There you go. And the output I'm gonna name, just gonna add a MBR to it. And the job is gonna have a name. So this job, when you create the name, it saves. It's like, it just stays there. And anything that uses the parameters that you specify basically run in that pool. Um, so it almost like creates a job pool for, for you. And so the job name for this will actually be I'm going to call it MVPR 1080p. Okay, just going to be the job name. And then we create it. So the job has been added. So if you want to see your job at any point in time, you just go over here to transforms and jobs. So you can see the MVPR 1080p is running. It's processing right now. And we're going to wait for it to finish processing. While we do, let's go back to assets. So as you can see, this is showing up. So, so right now, as we've discussed already, um, basically this is essentially playing the download link, not the streaming link. All right, so it looks like this is completed. So we can now go back to assets. And instead of looking over here, we're going to go over here into the multi-bit rate version of this. And we're going to create a streaming locator. We want class streams only. Same thing we did before. And bam, now we should have a URL. And as you can see, it's playing. And we can actually go ahead and go to this guy and test it out. Update. Hi, I'm Ellie Shupa and welcome.
welcome to Belly Dance Stackable Drills, where you will find a library of dozens and dozens of one minute belly dance drills. These drills are customized. Perfect. So that is fully working. So basically, as mentioned, if you look at the actual stream that's created uh, with this, the actual URL that's created, let's open up Notepad. This is not um, a typical URL, right? So if I were to take this as an example and paste it here, right? It would just download the file. It would not actually, um, wouldn't actually do anything. So you have to have a player that can read, um, read that information and pull out the actual um, content from it to be able to play it. And as I mentioned um, so far, I test, I've tested this on the media player and for Xamarin and the uh, cross-platform media player um, that is also Xamarin related and neither of them has been um, successful uh, in doing what they need to do. They've, they've both um, not been able to play the file. And so you'll have to find, make sure if you're gonna be, if you're doing any mobile streaming that you have a, a um, media player library that can handle uh, streaming uh, as opposed to progressive downloads. In any case, um, that said, this has been a video on using Azure Media Services to stream your content. Um, if you like uh, our content, please like and subscribe. And thank you. Have a pleasant day.